Welcome back to JKP Rising. A lot of people ask me what my favorite Halo game is, and I usually swap between ODST and Reach, but no one really asks me what my favorite game of all time is, and that belongs to Deus Ex Human Revolution, and Mankind Divided just happens to be the amazing fucking sequel. So let's talk about the next Deus Ex game in the series, the sequel to Mankind Divided. So a lot of people weren't actually happy with the ending of Mankind Divided. They thought that it ended abruptly and that the game had a lot of withheld content that could have made it longer like the original Human Revolution was. Now, I took my time playing Mankind Divided. I took my sweet time. It took me like two weeks to finish the game. In my opinion, maybe not as much as the previous one, but I still got my 40 hours of gameplay on my first playthrough. So here's a question I want to ask everyone, because I'm not really sure myself. So we've seen games like Halo 5 Guardians release content that was literally cut from the game and sold as DLC, as free DLC, quote-unquote, through the rec pack system. So we see stuff cut, put back into the game, and we don't like that. Was Mankind Divided System Rift cut from Mankind Divided? I guess it could have been as a side mission, but when you play it, it's completely different from Mankind Divided. I'm not justifying what they did. Not justifying it at all. But if you play the DLC, it has literally nothing to do with the main storyline. However, should it have been in the game... Probably, because it was released so early after the game launched initially. I really owe you one, Richard. In my opinion, I think Eidos Montreal makes amazing games. Human Revolution was amazing, my favorite game of all time. I'm a big fan of Mankind Divided. And I bought the season pass for this game because I knew my money would be going towards Eidos Montreal because I think they make amazing games and I want to support them because they have proven to me that they can do awesome content unlike other companies. Does your dollar go towards good production or is it bad because you're giving in to the quote-unquote cut content? Let me know in the comments below because I'm very curious. So this is a little bit old, came out back in September, but no one's really talking about it. The Mankind Divided sequel has been in development for over a year now, which is incredibly fantastic news. I kind of knew they were going to go a trilogy route, but man, Mankind Divided sequel. Spoilers, we might get Adam Jensen going after Bob Page, going after the Illuminati, more Janus, more Juggernaut Collective. There's so much to tell. I love the Deus Ex games. They're very conspiracy heavy, and I love that type of atmosphere in a game. And the symbolism, the music, Michael McCann, oh my goodness. So we found out that there were actually two teams working at once when Mankind Divided was in development. We had Next Gen Deus Ex Game 1, which was Mankind Divided, then we had Next Gen Deus Ex Game 2, which is the sequel to Mankind Divided. The article can be found in the description if you guys wish to look at the article yourself and read all about this new information that came out a month ago. Feel free to click the link in the description. So as we know, JKP Rising is a Halo channel, and now it's crafting into a Dead Space channel. But now, now we have a third series, Deus Ex, coming to JKP Rising. Because Deus Ex is a game that I fucking love so much. And I would love to show more information about the next game coming in this epic ass trilogy. Just like the Halo videos and the Dead Space videos, I will try to make Deus Ex videos as frequent as I can and update everyone on this new upcoming game coming up whenever it comes up. We can speculate, we can comment, we can build a discussion, we can build a community on this channel. We can do something great like Deus Ex and Halo because I love Deus Ex, I love Dead Space, I love Halo. So let's do it all. My name is James of JKP Rising. If you guys like Halo Dead Space or Deus Ex, subscribe. Adam Jensen, will you ever play Halo 5 Guardians again? I won't let it happen again.